If you're in a situation where you're with somebody and you're not sure it's the right fit, here is the number one way to begin to identify if it is operating in lust or if you're operating in love, it's peace. You know, your our peace. You feel peace. That's inside. right. Our peace is the strongest barometer. It's our compass. Yeah. So it, it tells us we're going in the right direction. We're going with the right person in the right direction. Yeah. Or you know what? I'm going in the right direction, but something about doesn't feel like this is the person that's supposed to go with me. Mm. Right? It's really about peace. That's where I, I can, and everyone has the opportunity to define what that means for them. But to me, that's a great way to identify is this the right person I'm dealing with? So then let's just say, let's say you don't have peace. The truth is, I need to tell that person as soon as possible, here's, what's, here's what I'm really going through. I believe as a man, we, we're gonna be one of two men, men that heal pain or inflict pain. Wow. And that truth, as hard as it may be, and as much as she may not wanna hear it, it's better for her to hear it early on before she can have more emotional investment than to hear it later and you knew six months ago you were yeah, out of there. Yeah. When I cooperate in love, I put someone else's needs over my needs. I'm thinking about someone else's thoughts, even sometimes before my thoughts. Mm. Instead of looking at that woman as an object for your pleasure, mm -hmm. look at her as an individual. Look at her as someone's sister, someone's mother, someone's daughter, someone's friend. Humanize her in your mind. It doesn't mean, listen, if you you know choose not to wait until marriage to have sex with that person, that's, that's your business. But so often men look at women first as a sexual object, not as an individual. And as a result, when a woman most of the time says, hey, you know what, I don't want to have sex, you know, or I want to wait or whatever, a lot of men say, all right, well, I'm moving on to the next. If a woman does not want to have sex or share her body with you because she does not trust you, she does not know you, she does not love you, that's a sign of a great woman, mm. not a woman that should be discarded. Why are you on such a path for personal, selfish, lustful fulfillment that you are discarding potential women that could help make the difference in a positive way in your life? Wow. So for any man, it's about, hey, let me look in the mirror for a minute and just stop. Because I believe most men have given themselves over to lust. Mm. They've given themselves over to this selfish fulfillment where they want what they want, whenever they want it, however they want it. And as a result, they become the sum total of what that lust makes them. Lust is in every man, no matter who that man is, no matter, no matter what, how faithful you no are. No matter how faithful, spiritual. it's there. It's not even a reflection of the woman in his life at all. However, as men, when we learn to get control of it, when we learn to put love in control of lust, that's when we position ourselves to not allow that lust to destroy us. When you have sex with someone and you do not know them and you do not trust them, it becomes hard to really get clear on who they are and what they're about. I was at, I was at uh, Facebook and uh, this woman asked me a question and she was asking me a question about sex and whatnot. And I said, okay, I said, so let me just give you an analogy. Let me, okay, how many women in the audience after a month of dating a guy, would you give him the code to your phone? I said, but in that same period of time, in previous relationships, how many of you in that same period of time have already given him your body? If, if you don't trust him enough to give him the code to your phone, why would you give him your body? Evaluate, make decisions. Even, don't, even if you want to be in a relationship super bad, don't allow mm. your flesh and your desire to then make you so desperate that you lower your standard.